Don't you love when suddenly camera review channels and dedicated Apple review channels start creating videos about the Galaxy Tab S7? Credit where credit is due. The Tab S7 is simply the best, I think it is the best Android tablet released by Samsung last year. Good thing I'm not a cynical person here, but it got me thinking. It got me, it really, really got me thinking. Maybe, maybe there's more to it. Maybe people started realizing or they have realized that the Tab 7 is simply better than an iPad. Or maybe, maybe people were afraid of their newfound love for Samsung and now feel like they can express themselves without dividing people or receiving backlash. But what is it about the Tab S7 that gets so many people going? I will share three use cases with you guys today that will blow your mind. It's kind of figure of speech, really. Let me tell you this. The older you do get, the more rules you're going to try to get you to follow. <laughs> you just got to keep living, man. L -I -B -I -N. So here it is. I personally switched from an iPad Pro to this Tab S7 right here on my left hand side. Well, to your right here. But this is the one. I switched iPad Pro, Tab S7, full stop. You know what, Pierre, no more. My iPad Pro is collecting dust as we speak. And I am pretty bored of the same old, same old, oh, look at this faster and has the new colors. And no, one of the major reasons I started checking out Samsung a while back is really they're taking risks. And no matter how many people have a different opinion, they just keep doing it. And frankly, I want to be part of something new. I want excitement and without failure of experiments, we wouldn't have what we have today. Use case number one for me is taking notes and it has completely transformed the way I personally work. And you probably can tell I'm still young at heart. Well, young overall, of course. But what I'm trying to say is I don't have a study. I don't study per se, but I'm taking notes sporadically, right? And this is where it really comes in and does really good things to me. Just like if you would have a notebook when in meetings or nowadays video calls, I have it next to me. And every time somebody says something important, or I believe it's something to take down into notes, I'm doing this on my Tab 7 right next to me. So personally, I found the S Pen and the Nib better and more pleasant to use than the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil kind of feels hard to me. It's kind of writing on glass and that is complete, the complete opposite with the Tab 7 when taking notes. response time when taking notes is pretty much similar. It's the same now to the Tab S7 Plus after the latest updates. Speaking of which, like the latest updates, the Pen Up, S Pen update, really you got new features now like pen to text and many other features. We have that in our video and that kind of completes the whole feature list now for the S Pen and the Tab S7. I'm also not really that organized, so I'm using Samsung Notes as a one-stop shop for me because it synchronizes amongst devices. But I know that many of you guys go out and study day in, day out. So let me know how you feel about using your Tab S7 for like proper study, not for me, like a middle-aged person taking notes. Young at heart, though. Use case number two, again, for me, use case number two is the Samsung ecosystem. I now know you guys are pretty keen on having a separate video on this, but I want to share this with you today in, in terms of the Tab 7. I also have the Galaxy Book Flex 2, and I love the way it works together, right? The uh, Basically, I use both devices and I have everything in sync, and that is so important to me and something I really started or learned to appreciate when I was using Apple products. Now, Apple, however, refuses to come out with a touchscreen MacBook, and that is purely for monetary reasons. But, but it doesn't help me or you guys or others building the right productivity environment around you or around ourselves. And this is something I searched for, desperately searched for, for a long time, a pretty long time. Just the sheer combination of having the liberty of using the Flex anywhere as well as the Tab S7 makes it complete and gives me the freedom to choose which one to take without compromising. Use case number three, and I'm gonna consolidate a few topics and a few use cases here. The headline really is media, including video editing and gaming. Yes, uh, I know, I know the display is such a big discussion point. So many discussions in threads and whatever, but the best way to explain it here is that when you want to watch a movie, stay with me here. When you want to watch a movie and you look at the reviews before you go and actually watch that, right? You have a movie coming up sometimes that has either 
five star reviews or one star reviews and there is nothing in between literally nothing in between and that is exactly how people feel about this split display here on the tab s7 but the good thing is if you don't like the tab s7 display you can always go up to the tab s7 plus because you have the option i found the speakers to be excellent on the tab s7 here and especially with the one ui with the latest one ui 3.1 update you now have auto switch for your galaxy buds so you can basically have your s21 here your tab s7 here put your buds in and then you can switch the way you want it or you can listen to these excellent speakers as for gaming we do enjoy samsung's collaboration with microsoft and the game pass that comes with it and it works really well we have no issues we have separate videos out for that i personally like that and i personally like to have that freedom basically everything is up in the cloud now and that works pretty well on the tab s7 as for fortnite we are still officially at 90 fps in their settings but i can tell you that our real life testing when we are fortnite gaming you probably or you pretty much get up to 110 fps if you push the device in medium settings so all of it is possible but you know what it is good for me good enough for me you know the saying you are as good as the weakest link in your team or whatever you do well it's kind of similar to the video editing capabilities of the tab s7 and i'm referring here to the software part of it you do have like power director or kinemaster and it works well but it is pretty much no match let's say as for luma fusion on ipad os it just isn't there yet but hopefully this will come soon so video editing is possible with the hardware specifications it has absolutely no problem but there is a bit of software limitations i just want to get out here okay it has been a short video to the point though but let's continue our discussion and the use cases in the comment sections because i could probably do 10 easily but i'm super looking forward to you guys let me know what it is you're using the tab s7 for and thank you for watching as always stay safe peace out